let's get in here. Hot, 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 hot. Look at that, fall off the bone beauty. Yeah. Oh man. That is where it's at. Hello there, how you doing? So today we're gonna to make this chicken. Now believe me, this chicken is absolutely delicious. We're gonna go for a boil and burn the method, meaning what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the chicken in water with some beautiful aromatic spices first, and then onto the barbecue. Now, a lot of people might say, why are you bothering doing that? Blah, 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 blah. I'm a barbecue expert, blah, 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 blah. But what we've done is we've pumped loads of flavor into the chicken before we've done it anyway. I always do this method. It just makes loads of sense, loads of flavor in, and then on the barbecue, really nice and quick, just to get the smokiness and the, you know, the nice flavors. Delicious, let's get on with it. Okay, let's get moving here. So I'm using two chickens today, whole chickens, cleaned. Just give me a little wash inside, get all the little bits out. Now these chickens are one kg each, that's 2.2 pounds each. Now what I've done is I've done something called spatchcock or butterfly them, which I'll just flip them over now and you'll see. What I've done, I've kept you a piece here, is I've cut out that much of the back of each one. So you kind of, you know, a couple of fingers down the backbone and then you can open them out like that. You don't have to do this method. You could do a whole chicken if you want, but they're quite nice on the barbecue when they're like that. So that method is called spatchcock or butterfly. But what we're going to do is we're going to get these into some water because this is a, a boil and burn method we're doing here. We're going to get them into some water with some aromatics. So let's have a look at what I'm going to be using today. Now you could be putting any varia variation of these in or, or different stuff as well. So look, I've got some salt, pretty essential. Then I'm going to go with some ginger, some dried red chili, a few green cardamoms, some black peppercorns and some cinnamon. We're going to get that into the water. But like I say, you can get so many other things in there. So I've got a large pot and I've nearly filled it up with cold water. What we can do is we can grab our chickens and drop them in. And then let's get some salt in there, which I think is pretty essential. I'm going to drop all that ginger in. And then, like I say, I've got a bit of dried chili, some cinnamon, some peppercorns and some green cardamom. What we're going to do now is get the heat on. We're going to bring it to a boil. Once it reaches boiling point, we're going to let it go on a rolling boil for 15 minutes. Now, think about putting some celery in there, some carrots, some garlic in there. There's just so many things that can go in. Some turmeric, which will give it a nice color, the chicken, it will color the chicken a little bit. Play around with the aromatics exactly how you want. That's what I'm using. I'll be back in about 20 to 30 minutes. Like I say, bring it to the boil, and then once it's boiling, 15 minutes. Hey, so look, the chicken is boiling away there. So I just wanna show you this. I'm gonna make a really simple, no cook barbecue sauce. So I've got equal amounts, very roughly, and again, you can play around with this. Oyster sauce. Soy sauce, I'm using a light soy sauce, by the way. Sriracha, so a nice kind of Thai sriracha chili sauce, but not mad hot ketchup. Simply, we're gonna give them a mix, and all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of a nice nutty sesame seed oil, just a little dab. So mixing bowls, sriracha's in, ketchup's going in now. So we're talking about four or five tablespoons each. In goes the oyster sauce. In goes that soy, like I say, a nice light soy. And as promised, just a little bit of the old sesame oil. Not too much. It's gonna give that a mix and that's done. That's a really simple, beautiful little barbecue sauce that we're gonna put onto our chicken. Okay, off goes the heat. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna fetch these chickens out, put them on a plate or a chopping board or something, and all of the water and everything in it, you can discard unless you wanna use it for some sort of stock or something. Very, very simple. Now what we've done here, and I will emphasize this a few times, 
A lot of people are going to go, why are you doing that? Just bloody barbecue it, blah, 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 blah. Not only are we ensuring that we're going to cook it all the way through on the barbecue, but we've now just pumped a load of flavour into that, that extra flavour. There's flavour right in there. So all right, out they come, ready for the next step, which is we're going to throw them on the barbecue. Okay, and there you go, that chicken is packed with flavours because we stuck a load of flavours in there with the aromatics in the water. It's very easy to cook on the barbecue. We've ensured that it's cooked all the way through. That barbecue sauce that I made is absolutely wonderful. It is delicious, juicy, scrumptious. Hope you enjoy that. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you so, so much for checking out our videos. Um, we're currently steaming ahead to actually reaching nearly 100 million views, which is fantastic. I think we've got over 3,000 uploads now. We've really been going at it since I think 2012 we started back in the day. But yeah, thanks so much for watching our videos. Please do give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out a great deal. And also leave a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Now, um, what we've been up to, so lots going on. We're now based in Bahrain. We're here for a little while uh, in the kitchen here, which is fantastic. We're having a great time. Kids are really enjoying themselves. We are cooking away at a rapid rate, trying to do this new series called Eating with Locals, where I want to go and eat with different, you know, people from different nationalities and eat their food and have a little chat, see if I can learn something. Hoping this COVID thing's gonna shift don't know when it's going to happen but maybe soon if it does i'm going to get back on the road you know i want to get back on an airplane as i'm sure many of you do as well and get out there and sort of you know see the sights taste some food and meet some people it would be fantastic if you would buy us a cup of coffee help us along with the channel we're not funded in any way we're self-funded we don't endorse any products uh, there's a link down below if you would like to buy me a coffee a couple of dollars or whatever you want just follow the link that would be fantastic that's about it we're doing great and we hope that you're doing fine and we'll see you soon lots of love <laughs>